Welcome, welcome everyone back to Q50 Beast TV. Today we have a special one. We have the 1987 Buick Grand National. This is one of my favorite cars back from the last game. Uh, one of my favorite cars on this game as well so far. I just love the lines of this car. I love the way it looks. I love the performance of it. I love the air of the car. You know, this car along with the Z28 IROC Camaros, the Fox Body Mustangs, those cars like that. I just love this car. It's very close to the Monte Carlo. Uh, shares a lot of the same parts and this was just a very very fun build it's always a fun car to drive you can get this thing to look very good for the car show you can make this thing run very well on the track you can also build this thing to run pretty well on the interstate too so that'll come in a, in a future tune but right now we're going to look at this drag tune and what we can do for this thing and make this thing perform on the track all right stay tuned all right, let's go ahead and get into the upgrades. Looking at the conversion, we went with the 6.2 liter V8, tried and true 6.2 liter V8. Uh, we did nothing with the drivetrain and we went over and did those twin turbos. We wanna get that power on the top end. All right, going over to the engine block, we went race intake, we went race fuel system, we went race ignition, we went race exhaust, we also went with the race in the camshaft department, uh, race valves, uh, displacement for the engine block. We want to race engine block. We also went race pistons and we upgraded those turbos, get those race turbos. Uh, we also went with the race intercooler, of course, nothing with the oil cooling on this one. And we went with the race flywheel. Okay, let's take a look at the handling department. We went with race brakes. We also went with the race suspension. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Uh, race front anti-roll bars, and we also went race rear anti-roll bars. Uh, we did with the full weight reduction for this car to take all that old weight out of there and nothing with the chassis reinforcement. We left that alone. All right, moving over to the clutch. We went race clutch, of course. We went race transmission and we went race drive line. We also went with the race differential for this build, of course. All right, going over to the tires. Of course, this is a drag build. We went with the drag tires. Uh, we did nothing with the front tires, left it as narrow as possible. And we went with the 345s on the rear, 345s on the rear so we can put that power down and just look at that. Just look at that. Looks very, very good. All right, so with the wheels, you know, pick what you like best. Uh, but we went with these works right here. I think they fit the car very, very well. And it's just it just looks nasty. It looks like a street car and a race car. You know, you can do what you want with it. Uh, we went 17 in the front to give us a little bit of top end speed. And we left the rear the same so we can get that drag look, a more realistic look. Um, so I think it looks pretty good. In the front, we did extend the footprint. Um, in the front for handling and in the rear because uh, when we get to those top speeds we want it to be able to handle all right so we did nothing with the front arrow nothing with the rear arrow we left it alone the car looks great and we went with this hood here the street hood just looks pretty good um all of these hoods look really good really we went back to the i was thinking about going with this one to do something different this year but um we we, we went with this street hood uh the fiberglass hood to give us that less weight uh, so that we can get this car rolling. All right, so let's look at the tire pressure. We went 35 in the front and 15 in the rear. So we want to make that front tire as narrow as possible uh, so we can help ourselves out with the uh, top end times and that 15 in the rear to, so we can put that power down. The gears, we went 283 with the final drive, 413 for the first gear. And we tweaked these just a little bit and went 0.78 for the sixth gear to help us on the top end, which gave us a 3.3600 to 100. We did nothing with the alignment. The anti-roll bars, we left the front the same. And we went 65 in the rear. We want to keep it stiff in the rear. And the springs we went all the way soft in the front and we're all the way hard in the rear. Um, so going over to the ride height, we went 9.5 and 9.5. I usually never lift the car up, but I want to be able to launch this car. And because it was already so slammed, I was able to lift it and it looks normal. 
uh, and this helps us so we can kind of get the car to kind of stand up a little bit and pop that wheelie when we leave off uh, from the line. So this was a perfect setup for this particular thing. That's why we were able to use the race springs. Um, so yeah, because I, I never like the soft rally springs. I like to go with the race. All right, so with the rebound stiffness in the front, we went soft. In the rear, we went all the way hard. And the bump stiffness, we went all the way hard in the front and almost all the way soft in the rear. We did nothing with the arrow, nothing with the brakes, and nothing with the differential. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing on the track. We go ahead, I already heated up the tires before this. So we'll see how this thing launches. And we're getting ready, and this thing goes ahead and takes off hard. And it gets down the track very, very, very well. And for this age car and this class of a car, it does its job. 189.9 miles per hour in the half mile. And just look at how this thing leaves. Here's our share code if you're interested in this tune. And I, I just hope you guys enjoy it. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the quarter of a mile and how this thing does. All right, we're going to launch this thing. And it just flows through the gears perfectly. It just flows. And look at what, what, what kind of speed we can get out of this. Over 165 miles per hour in a quarter of a mile. That's pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. All right, let's look at it again and watch how this thing looks when it leaves. I think this is a great car. Very fun to build. And look forward to my road build that I'm going to do on this one. You're going to surprise a lot of people. Please take a look at these videos if you are interested. Hey, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. This is Q50 Beast. Peace out.